welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Story, the enemy to read you another story. And I'm going to read you a story about somebody very important today. Well, every day, but especially today. I'm going to read you a story about moms. In fact, this book is called The Best Mother. The best mother. Hmm. This is a story about a little girl who's not in a very good mood and not being very nice to her mother. Well, that's not good. But I think this story must be about how she figures out that she has the best mother. You know, moms are the best. You have the best mother. I have the best mother. Moms are the best there is. And we need to figure out if this little girl realizes that she has the best mother. Are you ready to get inside this great book about moms with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. The Best Mother, written by C. M. Sarissi, illustrated by Diane Good. Maxine hated getting up in the morning. She didn't like to wash her face or brush her teeth, comb her hair. Maxine was sure a new mother would solve her problems. Oh no, Maxine doesn't like that she has to do all those things in the morning, and she thinks that it's her mom's fault. At breakfast, Maxine's mother asked, What are you going to do today, Maxine? Maxine munched her toast, really not in a good mood. I'm going to get a new mother, she announced. Hmm, sounds like a good idea, said her old mother. I'm going to look in the park, Maxine said, and in the toy store and at the zoo. You better take your sun hat. It will be hot and bright today, said her old mother. Oh, that is just the sort of thing I do not want my new mother to say, said Maxine, who's still in a very bad mood. But Maxine didn't know how to get to the park, or the toy store, or the zoo. Will you take me? Maxine asked. I'd be happy to, said her old mother. Maxine and her old mother arrived at the park. Maxine's going up to different moms. If you were my mother, would you make me pick up all my toys? Maxine asked. Yes, I would, said the baby's mom. Maxine thought, hmm, not that mother. Nope, she doesn't want that mother. She goes up to another mom. If you were my mother, would you let me bang a drum any time I want to? Maxine asked. No banging drums, no tooting horns, no Miss Noisy, thank you very much, says the baby's mom. Maxine thought, uh-oh, not that mother. If you were my mother, would you let me wear my slippers in the snow? Maxine asked another mom. <laughs> no, Maxine thought, definitely not that mother. Maxine's asking all those moms, and look, look in the bushes. I think that's her mom watching all this. Maxine and her old mother arrived at the toy store. If you were my mother, would you buy me this rocket? Maxine asked another mom. That rocket is too expensive. Maxine thought, well, not that mother either. If you were my mother, would you buy me this mask? Maxine asked another mother. Um, sorry, I do not approve of scary masks, says the mother with the dogs. Maxine thought, for sure not that mother. And look, her mother is still watching. If you were my mother, would you... Don't touch that! You'll break it, says the lady. Maxine thought, whoa, no way. Not that mother. Maxine and her old mother arrived at the zoo. Maxine watched the animal mothers. The monkey mother picked nits out of her monkey's baby's hair. Hmm. Maxine touched her hair. And she's thinking about how her mommy takes care of her hair. Just like the monkey's mommy takes care of the monkey baby. The elephant mother sprayed her elephant baby with water. Hmm. Maxine put on her sun hat 
and thought about the fun times that her mother plays with her in the water. The giraffe mother licked a sore on the giraffe baby's neck. Hmm. Maxine looked at the bandage on her knee and thought about the time that her mommy took care of her boo-boo. Maxine's realizing she really does have a wonderful mother. Maxine looked around for her old mother, the one who invented the toss your toys in the box game, the mother who banged a drum in her marching band and built a moonlight snowman with her while wearing their pajamas and slippers and parkas. Wow, Maxine's realizing just how wonderful her mother is. The mother who brought her a telescope because she promised to be careful with it and played hide and seek while wearing monster masks. Maxine really does have a wonderful, wonderful mother. Maxine found her old mother waiting with a balloon and a bag of hot peanuts and she knew at that very moment that her old mother was the best new mother she could ever have. Hello, said Maxine's mother. If you were my daughter, would you want this balloon? <laughs> I am your daughter, said Maxine, because her mommy's teasing her. If you were my daughter, would you like these peanuts? I am your daughter, Mama. If you were my daughter, would you want another mother? Oh, Mama, don't be silly, Maxine said. Oh, Maxine, I'm so glad, said Mama. See, Maxine realized she had the best mother and she did not need a new mother. Mama, yes, Maxine, will it be hot and sunny tomorrow? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if it is, I think we should wear our sun hats, just like Mama wanted her to do. Maxine realized she has a wonderful mother. Well, that was a really good book. That little girl was in such a bad mood. And she just thought that she could find a better mother. And then she went to the park. She kept asking people if they would make her do this or if they would make her do that. And of course, all the moms said yes, because that's what moms do. And then she went to the zoo and she saw all the mommy animals with their babies. And she remembered what a great mom she has, how she has a mom that plays with her and takes care of her when she's hurt and loves her and she realized that she has the best mother just like you moms are the greatest and I tell you what you should really really appreciate and love your mom for all she does for you and before we go to sleep tonight we are gonna pray about our moms because they are the most special thing that God has given us so let's take a minute fold your hands and close your eyes dear God thank you for my friends and that they keep coming back to hear the stories. Thank you for this wonderful book about mothers. And please help my friends to realize that the mom they have is the best mom in the world. That you chose that mom just for them. And that they need to love their mom, obey their mom, respect their mom, and realize that everything their mom does, she does for them. Just like everything you do, you do for us. And we are so thankful for it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, my little buddy, I need you to get off to sleep. I need you to get under those covers, get cuddled up, curled up. Give mom the biggest hug that you can give her tonight and thank her for being your mom and for loving you as much as she does. And remember, you really, really do have the best mother. So tomorrow, no matter what mom tells you to do, and even if you're in a really bad mood, obey and obey right away. Show mom how much you love her. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, 
and share. I'll see you soon.